it's impossible to please everyone and yourself. Well, life coach Margie Worrell is back with us to help us make the right decisions this year. If you're experiencing one of those holiday divides, all you have to do is call us, 1-800-528-2090. We'd love to hear from you. Margie, let's get straight to some of the tips that you have for folks who are really experiencing this divide this year. Sure, sure. Let's get right to them. What would the first tip be? Well, I think it's really important to remember the reason for the season. It's about celebrating life. Whether or not you can be with all the family that you want to be with or not, you can still celebrate life. The second one is let expectations go. We have so many this expectations. This is a hard one, though. I mean, because really you, your is. expectations yeah. are up here. Or it doesn't and you want it to be the best exactly. Christmas. And it doesn't and it matter what generations you're from. We have these Norman Rockwell, like, you know, visions in our head. But I think it's just so important to kind of be creative, be flexible. You know, sometimes you've got the circumstances you want and other times you don't. So work with what you've got. It's really it's about so the attitude. for anything. It's, it's so the attitude, true. really. It's so true. And I think as women, though, we work so hard to try to make it perfect. perfect. And I think the third one that's yeah. you, that you say Well, is, you can get so busy, don't busy, get so busy, 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 trying to have it all be perfect. So, yeah, make sure you take care of yourself. Don't burn yourself out. And I think, you know, they call it the silly season for a reason. Uh, you know, and Don't haven't they? you been there? You've been so involved in making things perfect, like Felicia said, that by the time the guests get there, you are a cranky so and so. Yeah, it's like, and, oh, and your please. hair isn't done, and yeah. you're really cranky. You have no lipstick and everyone on, and says like, what a grump oh. you were at Christmas yeah. time. Right. You know. Thanks a lot. And then the problem. <laughs> well, not you. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe Felicia. But, you know. <laughs> No, but it's true. I've been there. They said, what's wrong with Sandra? I don't know. Uh, yeah, because we're so busy trying to have it all be just perfect, and we have all these visions and expectations. So we've got to ease off a bit. Schedule some time for a bit of downtime, too. When you're trying to run around like a crazy person, having it all be perfect, you end up not being able to be really present for the people you love and bring the real Christmas spirit to the Absolutely. season. Let's take Absolutely. the other extreme. Okay, so you're, you're dividing your time between so many different things you don't know where to go. But the other extreme is perhaps you can't get to yeah. your children or yeah. grandchildren this year yeah. for whatever the reasons may be. Yeah. What, do you, what can you do to sort of lift your own spirits a little bit? Yeah. Well, I think there's some wonderful things people can do. I mean, one great idea is to go out and volunteer at a soup kitchen or at a homeless shelter. Now, I think when we've kind of all tied up worrying about, you know, what's not right in our own life. When you look out to others, like, who else has bigger needs and problems that I do? You know, it really, you know, it, it really puts your own little woes in perspective. I did this once for Thanksgiving. I couldn't go home Me to my too. family because I was working, and that's exactly what I did is yeah. I went and volunteered and served dinner to some women that were obviously not in a, in a good position. It's the most memorable Thanksgiving I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask wonderful. you, was it the best Thanksgiving you ever had? It was Absolutely. because I felt so much better Absolutely. about having done something for somebody else and it wasn't Absolute. anything to do with me or it my family. It makes you Absolutely. be really grateful. Yes. Even though you your have. family might be a long way away and even though you had to work, you get really grateful. Wow, yep. you know, yeah. aren't I blessed? Yeah. And I, I think another great thing is just, you know, get together with friends. If you don't have family, you can still get together with friends. Well, you we've know. got some phone calls. I think Nicole from Maryland is on the line. Nicole, do you have a question Hi. or comment for our guest? Yes, I do. Okay. I wanted to know how do you combat feeling guilty over spending time with one parent or grandparent over it, the other. Say that once more. Did you get that? One more time, no. Mar One more time, Nicole. How do you combat the guilty feeling guilty. you feel uh, when you pick spending time with one grandparent or parent over the other? Sure. Okay. You know, and I think a lot of people relate to that. Yeah. You know, I think it's important to have conversations. You know, you may end up having Christmas, you know, every year or with one parent or set of grandparents mm -hmm. or grandchildren. So talk to the other, talk to the others and just say, you know, this is how it seems to work out. But I'd really love to do something special with you. It doesn't have to be on Christmas Day every year, but you can do other things that are special still. What about like going on a, a, a far-flung vacation? Something yeah. you've always dreamed of doing. Someplace yeah. warm. Yeah. Hey, Australia. <laughs> Hey, it's the perfect time idea. of year to head south. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, what am I doing here? Well, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Wonderful tips. I think that you've helped a lot of people. And again, just keep those expectations at a minimum reasonable. Yeah. Just go with the flow. And you <laughs> know what? It's flow. really a keep the, the reason for the season. It's the spirit you bring to okay. it, no matter who you're with or where you are. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Bobby? Okay, ladies, thank you.